Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 3rd, 2022. Happy New Year everybody! So if you did not see last week's video, make sure you go back and watch that because that is going to be a major theme in the coming years. Now I do feel like we're going to see more earth disruptions. I mean it's all the stuff you already know, but we're learning that we know how to handle it. We're learning that we can heal ourselves. We are learning different pathways, all right? So the things that have been hidden or withheld that is being revealed now, but I'm telling you, it really is how we interact with one another. And watch, there are gonna be people who overcorrect and now they're out there policing everybody. Oops, hitting my microphone. <laughs> Make sure everything's good there. Um, you know, out there policing everybody just because out of self-righteousness or, you know, you're not allowed to say that or you're not allowed to think that. You're not allowed to have that perspective. It, it does nobody any good. And that's not what we're talking about. Knowing when to step in and when to leave things be and when not to feed into somebody, right? So if you have somebody who's standing there, you know, crying foul and saying, I disagree with this person, blah, 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 blah. Everyone should, <laughs> conflict, here we go. Um, everyone should agree with me. And you wanna seem like a good person. You wanna seem like you're on the side of right. I mean, it's a lot of this messy, it's kind of breaking all of that open and realizing, no, I'm not gonna back you up. You know, no, that doesn't feel right. And even if they come at you, and say, oh, now you're a terrible person for not backing me up. You stand strong. Guys, we've got some tricky energy. All right. So first and foremost, we have Knight of Michael. Strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. This, is, this feels like a big backlash because we are being told and given the message that we need to start tapping into our empathy and start honoring our emotions okay because not honoring the emotions telling people to ignore how they feel teaching our children to do that look how well that's turned out okay we have a lot of uh dysfunctional people in this world who are just trying to get one over on one another it's all about competitiveness we've been talking about that but this is definitely saying like the the backlash that we get from trying to be more sensitive, it might, it's tricky guys, because it might ping us back into the old way of defending ourselves or um, even having to kind of go to war kind of thing, uh, warring over something. Cause the Knight of Michael, that's, you know, Knight of Swords. So here, I gotta show you these. So we have five of Gabriel and five of Michael. Yeah, let's start with five of Gabriel. So it says a challenge you can resolve. And that is the big takeaway here. When we feel like we're being pulled back into the old way, we don't have to accept that. We can change. We have the power to change. Uh, withdraw from, from the drama of others. Those are the people who are gonna keep trying to feed off of you. They're gonna keep drawing you back in. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Well, I mean, if you can, there you go. Uh, and then this five of Michael says, the situation doesn't serve you. We have to change. Release your attachment to the outcome. That's a big one because everybody wants to know what's going to happen. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. And this really is, you know, I mean, it's got to be done. <laughs> it's got to be done. The conflict with one another has to be done. And we need to detoxify here. And if we don't, if we don't change how we relate to one another, guess what's going to happen? Now we all go flinging back into our intellect and our intellect only and it's you know every man for himself kind of thing so that's some tough energy we'll get we'll get some more cards here uh then we have eight of ariel take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education or training i think we had this what was it last week i don't remember but we have to learn how to get along better <laughs> and we have to get to the bottom again of why People are short-circuiting, okay? There's frequency interference. There is, you know, something that anytime we don't feel well, what happens? You get grumpy, right? I mean, it's not just like the world is grumpy. It's, it's more than that. But this is having to understand 
what well, it's a continuation of last week's message, understanding this other aspect of ourselves, this energetic aspect of who we are. Again, let's get some more cards here. Let's see. Oh, there. Okay. Okay. I got it. The sun, Archangel Uriel. So this is finding our strength through wisdom. It cannot be about surface level egotistical things anymore. The ego is breaking. The ego has been breaking for a long time. We're being asked to evolve as human beings. The third dimensional ego consciousness was put in place. You know, we are designed with that to be able to do this, if you want to call it an experiment, however you want to see that, but to be able to function in here, to know when to run away, <laughs> right? Um, and now we're being asked to evolve past that and evolve our humanity. And uh, hopefully we won't need to depend on the, you know, the ego consciousness to protect us anymore. So the sun, Archangel Uriel, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Now, here's what's interesting. We had these two, no, not that one, these two. <laughs> these two cards here, which is, you know, kind of contradicting this card. But I think what ends up happening this week and beyond is that we see the struggle for what it is. Hopefully we're getting some clarification, which might be a little bit of this energy going on here. We get some uh, clarifying understanding within ourselves and we say, you know what, we can work past this. So there is some resolution, but we have to be willing to bring this in. This is tricky. I, I'm not even sure if I'm making sense here, but you gotta be willing to do the work. We all have to be willing to do the work. And that means stopping in saying, hey, you know, I'm hurting or, hey, I need help or, hey, you know, I, I know I just yelled at you, but I'm not that upset. I just, you know, I wanted to be heard. How often do we do that? I'm telling you, we're going to learn our lessons one way or another. And I, we're going to keep manifesting horrible events until we all wake up. And we're doing that collectively. Collectively, we are manifesting these things. So, and it's because of our own internal conflict and trying to bounce that conflict off of somebody else because we just need to feel some sense of power and control because we're not in control of ourselves, right? Okay, last quarter moon in Scorpio. Did we have a Scorpio transformational card last week too? Reveal what needs to be seen. Reveal what needs to be seen. Look at this, look at this, look at this, <laughs> right? Again, what, what are we fighting for? How did we become enemies? Who determined that? When did we decide that it was better to, you know, manipulate somebody to win than to be loving and kind and fair? We have lost our integrity. We've lost our dignity. And it's like we've been in this deep, deep sleep that we are now waking up to. All right. And that's where this comes in. This transformation is going to occur when we reveal what needs to be seen. Now, again, we cannot just point at our neighbor and say, that's you, okay? It's all your fault. You're the reason why this is all going down. It's not that, okay? We can't also sit back and say, well, if everybody just understood things the way that I understand them, like, oh my gosh, you know, the older generation or whatever, the younger generation, the older generation, they don't know anything and blah, blah, blah. Look at your own ego, <laughs> okay? and the need to control people and how they think and how they feel because you think that's going to make humanity better. But really, maybe you're playing victim, which is bringing the frequency down. Maybe you are judgmental, which is bringing the frequency down. Maybe you have a bad agenda. Listen, this all needs to get broken open. This is what needs to be cleared away. And we need to help facilitate that. How do we do that? Make sure you are in tip top shape, okay? Start out every day with meditation. Go to sleep every night with meditation. Work on yourself. And that means your psychological self as well, okay? Because you gotta bring it in to the physical. When we do that, we'll have to see what happens, but uh, don't, let's not have another 2020, 2021, one thing after another in our faces trying to teach us to be kind, trying to teach us to be loving and realizing that that's the true power and that's the true strength. And anybody who's ever encouraged us to not love, to not be good to one another, to win out, 
that's what's wrong with this world. That's what has dragged us down. And we keep going along with it because we think that there is no, you know, way out. Change is absolutely possible. As a matter of fact, it's imperative. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.